Good morning everybody. So today is, hang on my brain's not working already. Today is Saturday the 26th oh, okay. um i'm not really sure what today has in store i tried filming a video yesterday but my phone has been playing up big time um so i've moved over to the iphone and i'm going to try and use this phone strictly for filming and you see other ones strictly for college and do other stuff um but obviously i'm not going to take two phones in with me when i'm in college because that's just going to be weird um so this morning i am doing a puzzle because why not i'm also on the crane book i'm watching some youtube I might get the laptop from downstairs and try and um, create some designs on there if I can. So I'm going to sit and do this puzzle, I'll do it as much as I can and I'm going to catch up with you guys a bit later on on what I'm up to. I'm currently sat at my desk and I just created a super super adorable design and i'm gonna show you guys in a minute how it looks look at how stinking cute this design is this is going to be part of my ohana um collection i think it's so stinking cute let me know what you think. have just created this one lilo stitch this is my tiktok it went from this to this it's so crazy to see the difference from here where there's no colour to here where there's a lot of colour. So that is now two of my list done. Still many more to go, but I'm going to take a break now because this laptop's getting really hot, so I need to let it cool down. Whilst I let it cool down, I'm going to sit and do a puzzle and also have some dinner. I'm having this chi uh, Chinese style chowmin, which is really, looks interesting, but yeah, we're going to eat it, see what it tastes like. Um, and then I will come back to you in a bit. Here to present it is someone who's made a huge contribution to the world of soap herself, as Angie Watts, the original Queen Vic landlady. Her time in Albert Square saw drink fueled rows, illicit affairs, and record Christmas viewing figures. I really like the noodles, like, they didn't really have a huge amount of flavour. So I'm going to just snack on some cheese balls because cheese balls are very good. Finished the outline for Lilo I'm now going to start filling it in with all of the colour I just wanted to show you guys something that happens when I come up with the dines so for this one it's Ohana means family and at first i really have no idea what i'm going to do with it i got some images up but nothing was like feeling me so what i then decided to do was jot down some rough ideas that i've got planned so this one is ohana means family going diagonal lino and stitch in the center and hawaii flowers in the corners which again maybe i quite like the idea of that one or for this one we have ohana means and then family at the bottom um angel and stitch in the middle and then lilo in the back um which again i think they're both pretty good designs so what i'm going to do i'm going to make both of them then i'm going to put a poll up on my tiktok i think maybe or on my Facebook and say which one do you prefer um it might be that I use both of them which I'm I feel like I'm going to um do both of them on the same sticker sheet so then I've got an option and we've got more of a variety 
so I think that's the way it's gonna go. Whilst I was doing the designs, I remembered that I won't be able to access them on my other laptop. So I'm currently sending them to myself in an email. So then all I'd have to do is um, is access my emails, which I'm hoping it would work. Like, I haven't done a huge amount on, um, I've done one, two, three, I've done five Lilo and Stitch themed ones. I'm going to try and send three. There we go. So now we're just going to wait and see if these in download. Um, and I'm really hoping they do. So then all I'd have to do on my other laptop once it, so then I could print them is um actually why am i doing this because i just remembered that the platform i'm doing it on is called inkscape right guys and on inkscape i can print so i better print from this laptop why did i not think of that before i started sending them i am absolutely stupid so anyway i'll send them anyway just in case it mucks up anyway so i've got them there um which i think is better safe than sorry to be honest because you never know when internet or laptops are just going to randomly fail so I'll have them sent to me just so I have them there in case I need them um but I remembered that this laptop is connected to our printer so all I'd have to do is send them to print so, I have a link seed and a loud gonna sit and watch some stuff on youtube and also do a puzzle because i did designs for like two three hours oh hey, time to have a break from Um, what I just filmed then was Sam and Court talking and this to me sounds like they're shouting now I don't have my implants on so my hearing's a lot more reduced yes I'm by the door but that shouldn't make any difference because they're still in the front room the front room from my door is quite a few meters away now the thing is if they weren't shouting then i wouldn't be able to, then i surely would not be able to hear the conversation yet they clearly are because i can hear the conversation from upstairs now when people are shouting it triggers my anxiety literally the smallest thing can trigger 
so it's like that's the main reason why I have headphones on when I'm in the house or I take my implants off because shouting or raised voices trigger my anxiety big time so it's like I won't go downstairs now until they've stopped um, and I just now need to wait until the anxiety kind of tells me when it's safe to go downstairs. Yes, it's safe to go downstairs anyway, but due to the shouting, I do not like it whatsoever. So I kind of have to wait until I feel calm enough to go downstairs and to then, yeah. I hope that makes sense. giving me a lot of feelings at the moment and it's like giving me the feelings that I might have a panic attack and when I feel like these happen have these are gonna happen I tend to close my door to have a bit more privacy and to make them feel a bit more safer um So I'm just gonna sit here and see what happens. So I ended up not having a panic attack but my anxiety was 100% pretty high um, which made my heart rate, well which made my heart go fast. Um, I'm still feeling very anxious um but i'm gonna keep myself busy by doing a puzzle one of the things that happens when i get anxious is that sometimes my um when i'm trying to think of something a lot of the time my brain just sort of i don't know like i just can't think i just can't get my words out and i just can't think of what I want to talk or say or anything like that um which you guys have probably seen in the last clip when I was trying to talk about what was going on like my brain like I just I just couldn't get anything out um but I'm gonna carry on with the puzzle until my anxiety calms down and then I'm gonna go downstairs um I'm going to end the video here because I'm not really going to do anything else now except from puzzle and just watching tv so I'm gonna go thank you everyone for watching I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions about anxiety or hearing loss or just let me know what videos you would like to see and I'll be more than happy to do them especially educational videos um 
also I will keep you guys updated on how my business is coming along um, I'm going to speak to my dad probably tomorrow about opening a bank account up um, and then hopefully we can start selling soon but I will surely keep you guys updated on that um, in the link um, in the description below I'm going to put about my I'm going to put my TikTok so follow me on there for more updates um, on the business and that's where I will be doing my selling and packaging so definitely check out my TikTok and I'll see you all soon bye